Hey guys, so I am stuck in a hotel room in Texas in between meetings, and since swords are legal to just carry around here, I thought it wouldn't be a big deal if I threw a couple in the car, brought them down, and reviewed them while I'm uh, stuck here bored with nothing to do. So I picked up a couple of Hanwei swords from Cult of Athena, and I think these are newer to the sword market, at least from what I can tell. There's not a whole lot of information on them out there. I didn't find a video or a review or a cutting test or anything on either one, so I figured I would share that with you today. So the first sword I have for you is the Oda Nobunaga Katana. Now first, just an overall theme view. It is a kind of dark green theme with black. The fittings have a gold and silver accent to them. Um, it, and it's, to me, a really cool looking theme overall. So a little bit more detail. The Kashira has like a Kabuto helmet on it and it's just really detailed and, and well done. Hopefully the camera's picking that up, but I think it looks cool. The um, Ito could be tighter. It's not bad. The diamonds are kind of a neat shape. They're kind of thin and wide, and I thought that was kind of neat. The Manuki are a gold and silver. I guess a Kuromon. This one's a little bit crooked. Kind of bothers me. Now, it should be noted that I did get this from Cult of Athena's scratch and dent section. They don't say exactly what's wrong with a sword in that section. They just tell you, hey, it's got a factory blemish. We're going to take a little bit off the price. And if you're buying it to use it, then hey, you can save a little bit of money. So that's what I did. I think it was in that section, though, because this Samagawa panel is lacquered black. And you can see a little bit of it's worn off on that large node right there. Also, where the Manuki come through... It's just, it's not incredibly well done. It's a little bit worn off there also. So maybe that's why, maybe it's not, maybe it's for some other reason, but um, I thought that's why it was in the section. Although I did find something about the sword that I dislike a lot more than this, and I'll get to that here in a second. But the uh, Saya is a really dark green. It probably looks black in the video, but it is a dark green. The Sageo is black. It's kind of this... It might be silk, but it, it just feels cheap to me. I don't I don't really care for it. I don't use Segeo anyway, so I'll probably end up taking it off and, and storing it away in case I sell the sword later on. But it kind of has that shoestring appearance and feel to me, even though it's probably a little bit nicer material. Anyway, enough about that, but I don't care for it. The uh, Fuchi has got a really cool like musket and powder bag on it. The Suba has that same Sakuramon that was on the Manuki and a portrait of Nobunaga. It looks like he's holding a sword of some kind and uh, perhaps the powder bag, I don't know. And then the back side of the Suba shows like some samurai fighting it out. It's like one or two have a spear and one has a sword. It's it's a pretty cool casting. I do like the Suba and, and the, just the fittings overall I think are neat. And, and I like the Manuki too. Um, anyway, so moving on. The Koi Gucci. It looks good. Um, the Saya is pretty clean. and It does rattle in the Saya and, and that's pretty annoying. But I can get over that. <coughs> So moving on to the blade, the habaki is a standard brass habaki, standard brass seppa, although they're the kind of the nicer version of the standard brass seppa. Uh, it's a T10 differentially hardened blade. The hamon actually looks pretty cool on it. Um, hopefully the camera's picking that up a little bit. Um, it's got a deep bohi groove. The yakote is geometric, so I thought that was nice. It's got a I call it like a Chu Kasaki. I'm no expert, um, but the overall width of the blade down here is quite thin at the Kasane, so a little thinner than I'm used to seeing. Uh, it does make it pretty light actually, and feels like I could uh, use it one-handed pretty easily. Um, although it feel kind of like holding a Red Bull can with the thick ska with a garden stake coming out of it or something. It's 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 pretty light um, the way it tapers down there. A big problem that I have with this particular sword, and I don't think it was um, because it was in the blemish section, 
when I hold the ska nice and straight, the sword is mounted in there at an angle. So ska straight, sword at an angle. Hold the sword blade straight, or the mune is, is, is straight at my face. The ha should be facing the camera perfectly right now. Now, the ska is kind of canted, so to me that is a big fucking problem. It screws with your edge alignment, you can't get proper tachikaze, and to attain proper tachikaze, then you're, you're now kind of twisting the ska a little bit, and it just fucks up your form, at least it does for me. I've had this problem with another sword or a similar problem where... Uh, when you get good tachikaze, well, you're holding the ska a little bit wrong, and that bleeds over into other katanas. So me using this long term would probably be a problem for me. Um, as then when I go to pick up a sword that, that is mounted correctly, I may develop a slight twist in the way I hold it, and um, I, I don't really care for that. So for that, this sword loses major points. But overall, I will say that it's... It's put together well as far as everything is tied. I have no pause in using it. it it's got a kind of a cool theme. It's, it's different looking from other katana that you see out there production-wise. So for that, it's cool. Um, the blemishes don't even bother me. I got a little bit of a uh, discount for that. But the sword being crooked in the ska is a big fucking deal to me. All right, so the second sword I have for you is the Hanwei Date Masamune Katana. Now, the overall theme and appearance of this sword, it's done in homage to Date Masamune, much like the Odu Nobunaga Katana, is they are um, depicting a feudal lord from the 1500s, 1600s on the, on the Suba, and then the rest of the fittings accent either something to do with their nickname or something that... Um, is reminiscent of their image uh, and, and this sword is the same as that one in that regard. Overall look though it's got a black Ishime Saya. Now it doesn't feel like the highest quality finish on it but you know time will tell. I mean for now I, I like it. It doesn't show fingerprints all that good stuff and it has a pretty nice appearance to it. Um, Horn, Koi Gucci, Kurigata, uh, and Kojiri. The Ska is pretty different actually. It's got a uh, it's got white semigawa panels, pretty standard stuff. The uh, the Ito is a synthetic type of leathery, suede feeling material. It's not quite suede like Alcantara, but it's not doesn't feel quite like leather either. So I'm not sure what it is, um, but it really gives a nice secure feeling in the hand. It's a thicker material. It looked like it was kind of hard to work with, so the diamonds are a little bit uneven, I think, because of that. And you see a little bit of the um, wood poking through there as these are just panels. And, and that's kind of annoying, but um, it created some nice deep diamonds, which even adds to the secure feeling in the hand that much more. And may be one of the most secure feeling scars I've ever felt. The crossovers are all the same direction, and I, I think that is not the way it's usually done. They usually alternate. Now, I don't know if this is just a particular style or if it's just wrong. Um, I, I don't know enough to, to be able to tell you that, but the end knot, I can kind of see the the end of the material poking through there. So there's there's some flaw there, but overall, I think it's neat. It kind of gives the blade some character and it feels uh, awfully nice. I want to note that no rattle on this one, which is nice. Um, it holds the the blade quite well. I kind of like the way the, the habaki fits the side. It kind of gets tight as you get about right here and then you can just you can press it in nice and tight if you want a good fit. So um, this one I did want to just say really quick too. It lines up correct. The uh, fit of everything is nice. Everything is, is good and tight. Um, the Ito is about as tight as the last sword was. Um, where it's, as it can be tighter, but um, the charm of the different material is kind of winning me over, I must say. 
but on this sword, I really like the blade profile. It's just, it's, it's wide, but it's not too wide. It's, um, it's got a nice distal taper to it. It just feels like it's going to be a very nice cutter and just an attractive looking blade overall. So the Hamon is nothing too crazy special. Um, hopefully it's picking that up. The Yakote on this one is not geometric. Now, know that it is almost half the price is the Oda Nobunaga Katana. I'm just far more impressed by this one. Now So for the cutting, hopefully this makes sense, but what I'm going to do is cut a couple of different targets with a sword that does pretty well with all of them. Maybe not the best, but definitely not the worst. And then I'll compare the two Hanwei swords to how the control sword does, if that makes sense. So I'll tell you whether or not it does better or not quite as good as this one here that seems to do kind of okay at, at everything. So. Masamune Katana seems like a better buy if you're going to do any kind of cutting uh, heavy targets or more standard targets with it. And the Nobunaga Katana seems like a, a decent buy if you're going to do some trick cutting or just like a sword that you can whip around really easily. Or, or perhaps you, um, you just prefer a lighter blade, which they can be fun to play with at times. But if you prefer something that's a little more geared for cutting, I would say the Masamune Katana is the way to go. Especially with that Ito, it feels like I had a really good grip on it, and that could contribute to how well it performed. It could just be, hey, this felt good to me, and I was more comfortable with it, but who knows. Anyway, I hope these uh, demonstrations helped you a little bit, and hopefully my opinions give you a better idea about these two Katana that seem to be fairly new to the market. So. Anyway, I'm going to go play with that Masamune Katana a little bit more. Catch y'all later.